It's gonna be a Here good one. Here we go. Five red lights. Flying Finn on the front row, along with Slade's, wind them up and let them go. The Mercedes gets a decent start, although there's a lot of real spin. He already had the cut to Toro Rosso off this. His brother right with him in the Williams. As you can imagine, there's always a lot of action going into the first turn. No major incidents, as we can see, it's uh, Hamilton and Amazement swapping position further with the back. Oh, that's the Renoir of Amazement. He's overcooked it. He's been sent wide. He's got a lot of work to do to close down the pack. And look at that. That's the neck, a nail to the back of Flying Finn. And Zero Limitless. One simple mistake at this point is so costly. He's down to seventh already. Let's see if anybody can make anything happen with the use of Slipstream on the run down towards there. That is the Ferrari ducking out. That's Limitless trying to make a move on Evo. They're going to be side by side once again. It's for the second time in this opening lap, and he's actually, uh, he's got the move done. Here is Hamilton nailed to the back of the McLaren of GC Isaac. He's, oh my goodness me, as he managed to get slightly alongside coming into turn three, but couldn't quite make it, uh, couldn't quite make it stick. The McLaren, oh, he gets a little bit of a scruffy exit out of four. That's going to lose him some momentum. Here comes Cyril Hamilton on the outside in the Sauber. He can't get it done though. Well defended by the McLaren. And look just ahead. That's the Williams of Alonso. He's managed to get the move done. What a great move by SCSF1 Alonso to get that second position on the run down to turn seven. But that does release this man, SCSF1 Alonso in the Williams. Alonso has just got his eyes on the prize. Here is GT Isaac fighting back into seven. And he has managed to get that move done before eight, but he's overshot the breaking point and he's lost that position. Oh my goodness me, no, I didn't even finish the sentence and he's got the position back. Just manages to defend against Tyrrell Hamilton, who's now got Tyrrell Limitless on his tail. Tyrrell Hamilton now having to worry about Tyrrell Limitless behind him, the Ferrari getting very close in the slipstream with the use of DRS as well into the braking zone for the turn 14 hairpin. What can the Ferrari do around the outside of the hairpin? And he can't quite make it on the Sauber. He has got to push very hard, but keep very much in mind that that red Ferrari is staring at the back of his car. Hit him a up there by Limitless coming into turn 14. Is he going to come into the pits this time? GT Isaac does ahead of him, and yep, all three of these cars coming in at the same time. Interior Button also came in at the same time. Cyril Hamilton has already been through the pits, and now he's on the yellow marks on tyres. He will gain quite a few positions, but he will have quite a lot of fighting to do when everybody is out of the pits and back on track to keep them behind him. Yep, he's going to gain some positions, though. Actually, he does jump them. He moves up into P3, does the Sauber of CRL Hamilton. What an outlap that must have been for the Sauber driver to get ahead of G2 Isaac, who is going to be absolutely fuming about that. It'll be interesting to see exactly uh, how that's going to play out with some other people as well, too. But CRL Hamilton moves up into that, again, very crucial third place position. If he can hold on to this for another eight and a bit laps, he'll be moving on to the pro draft. Still a flying fin and SDF F1 Alonso not coming into the pits as yet. But Isaac and Limitless are pushing very, very hard to try and get that position away from the Sauber. Oh, Isaac getting a decent slipstream. He's going on the inside. There's impact at turn 14 between the McLaren and the Sauber. Can the Ferrari get alongside? No, not quite. They all just managed to recover. He's now getting in the slipstream with the DRS once again. Oh, and he went to dive on the inside of one. Five seconds between Alonso and Hamilton as well. So those two are probably just settling into their rhythm, not under immediate threat. Again, oh, Ooh. big impact, GT Isaac. I think he took Limitless with him, he did. And that's amazement in the Renault who had been closing in on this pack. He's now snuck through and that you see is NLR Evo who took an earlier pit stop. He actually became the fastest lap earlier on in the Red Bull. Now straight on to Tierra Limitless case. What a very costly mistake. I'm sure that's a, a breather that CRL Hamilton would be quite welcome to have. I'd imagine his heart was up in his mouth for defending for so long against such veterans as he was. But here we are looking at NLR Evo trying to get past G2 Isaac for fifth position. In the final corner they go. The Ferrari will pick up the DRS out of this final corner. But will he be close enough to try and go side by side with the Renault into turn one? This is some very daring stuff here on the rundown towards this very high speed corner. He's going to have to go around the outside and he's done it even before the wow. corner, really into the braking zone. Sierra Limitless back up into fourth position. An incredible overtake. On now goes Sierra Limitless. Here is the replay of both of these uh, attempted overtakes. You just see the Renault and the Ferrari going out of the shot. This is the side-by-side -side with the McLaren and Red Bull of NLR Evo and GT Isaac um, around the outside of turn one. And you can see that 
Isaac successfully defends against the Red Bull and on they continue heading on to turn six. And really going to be interesting to see how this shakes out actually between uh, the amazement Isaac and Evo and Limitless as well too is right right in front of this pack. So after uh, just over 11 laps of racing, these five guys have reconvened once again. And yet again, the Renault, uh, the Rebel runner has had a great drive on the eight of the 13. He's already challenging just the his particular point on board now with that other Evo. He is looking to throw it on the ends on a 14. Oh, the McLaren got boxed behind the Renault. He couldn't use the extra braking point he was trying to use. G2, try, Isaac trying to help break in on our Evo. Couldn't get it done. There was a Renault in the way, and that has given sick position to NLR Evo. Brilliant, brilliant driving. But all eyes have switched to this man. What a dominant win. The opening round of the Everyone Esports qualifiers, and it is won by the Flying Fiend.